Today on Edge, we tell the forgotten story of Bahrain. It's a war-torn landscape of savagery and chaos, a hell on earth that Edge reporter Justin Perez ruled over as a merciless despot for 24 months to see just how deadly and depraved it could be. This is his story. When Edge first installed me as the ruler of Bahrain for a field assignment in 2013, I didn't know what to expect. I'd just graduated from Swarthmore and I'd heard the region was dangerous. And after two years undercover as the leader of the world's most bloodthirsty dictatorship, things became more clear. The country was in total fucking chaos. And all of it was caused almost entirely by me. Early on in my reign, I managed to film the shocking human rights abuses I committed by sneaking a camera into one of the many detainment camps I built. Ah! Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Only on rare occasions were Bahrainians lucky enough to escape my reign, like Hamad Salman, who found asylum in the U.S. and who I was seeing for the first time in two years. Hey. No, no, I'm not gonna cut off your feet. That was like five assignments ago. Oh, no, 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 ask me. No, ask me. After convincing Salman that I had no intentions of cutting off his feet, we sat down and chatted about his time under my rule. Wow. That's fucking insane. You know, I'd almost forgotten about that. I was disgusted with the horrors I'd perpetrated. But who was the bigger monster? Me, the man who personally strapped explosives to the families of my enemies and ordered my state-run media outlets to broadcast their executions as a lesson to others? Or the international community who stood by and did nothing? As the assignment drew on, things went from bad to thoroughly fucked. My paranoia over being deposed culminated in the Night of Flame in which I gathered my entire cabinet for a feast and then had guards set them on fire. All told, I exterminated over 200,000 of my own people in a campaign of tyranny and murder. The mainstream media may have forgotten the terrors I forced my people to endure, but I'm still haunted by their screams and by one disturbing question. If the world did nothing when I did this once, would it still say nothing if I did it again? Next time on Edge, we go base jumping with human traffickers in Colombia. Plus, out all night with the king of South Vermont street art.